Okay, I shot this video yesterday, but I'm redoing it because I messed up a little bit. So this is the Black Series number 30 Titanium Tie Striker. Comes with a stand. It's got metal rings, metal body. The body could be plastic, actually. Opening canopy. Looks quite nice. Very sleek. Underside. Take it off the stand. You can get these at the entertainer for two pounds each at the moment in European boxes. So it just looks like they came out really late in the Europe. Quite nice. This front laser assembly rotates. Quite good feature. And the wings move up and down. Just like the tie striker does in the movie. Rogue One. So it's a nice looking ship. Here's the Hot Wheels version. So it's a lot larger. Take off the stand. Obviously the Hot Wheels have got much better stands since they've moved to this type of stand. And you can compare the two. That's the Black Series. And that's the Hot Wheels. So the Hot Wheels looks like it's been moulded off the actual Hasbro 3.75 version for the figures. It's got no moving parts apart from the wings. And the wings on the Hot Wheels can move. They've got a greater range of movement. You've got to be really careful with these rings because these rings can snap off if you push them too. But you can put them back in. That's what happened on the last video I made about these two. That the, these wings came off, or one of the wings came off. And I thought, oh no, I've broken it. So that's the Hot Wheels. I mean, that's the Titanium Black Series. It's a shame it's only just been available now in the UK at the Entertainer, in, well, in the sort of southeast area. Should have come out or been more available at the time the movie came out. But at least now I can do a comparison. So you can see that this version has far greater range it's got like a ratchet movement almost so you can hear where when the wings click into place I mean the main fuselage or body is a lot huger or larger rather than I mean you can see in comparison it's got more it's got more paint on it as well the Hot Wheels I think in terms of sculpting, this version I prefer, even though this one's more accurate. This one looks sleek, vicious, whereas this one looks more chunky. It's got four non-moving blasters at the bottom. This part is metal up to here than these bits here are plastic it's very much like the Hasbro toy for the figures whereas this one is far more accurate so in terms of accuracy this one wins out totally In terms of durability, this one's probably stronger. I mean, that's a solid piece of metal, this bit here, fuselage. In terms of the stand, 
supply this stand is much better the hot wheel stand is far superior I mean this one's adequate and then they hot wheels did this one in the two pack as well which was the uh, one with battle damage so obviously this one's got the best paint on it looks great so it's just that that one with added damage looks great though really cool model so overall if it was a versus I mean this one wins out in terms of accuracy to the actual model used in the movie I mean it displays really well looks great I think this body is just plastic though so that's a I'd rather this be die cast as well and then this one is just I really like the way this the wings move on this one I like the ratcheting so it's up to you I mean ideally you'd get both but if you're got to choose it's up to you I mean personally I like this version but in terms of accuracy this is certainly more accurate so which one wins and plus it's got much better stands or hot wheels about the same weight look great together though but they look very different I mean just because of the size of this fuselage is just so much larger so I think it's a question of taste what do you prefer what do you want do you want the accuracy or do you want something that's a bit more fun and durable I mean they're both great so overall I'll give this one and seven seven and a half and this one an eight this one's let down by the fuse large being plastic so it loses a lot in the sculpt so it's not much between them really okay cheers goodbye